Greetings everyone, my name is Jackie with BitPhoenix. Today we're launching a new case. This is called Pandora. Let's take a look at it. Now Pandora was a case we show not Computex. We designed this case to be, look very clean. And a lot of the feedback, which was true, is that it had a very sleek design which fit a lot of living rooms or even your computer room. Now this is due to the curved single piece aluminum side panels. On the front of the case, we have a contrasting uh, glossy piano finish front panel. And behind that is a uh, TFT screen, which we're calling the BitPhoenix icon, which you can actually change the icon or the logo, whichever you want to call it, to any image you want. Now with a lot of small cases, you have uh, difficulties with cable management, sometimes installing large components. But with Pandora, you have a very simplistic layout, which you can fit all of the components inside. Uh, you have lots of good airflow from front to back for your video card and even your CPU. Uh, well, there's no optical bay, you do have a lot of storage options. So even though this is a very slim case, you do have uh, a lot of capabilities for high-end components. So let's talk about the external of Pandora. Now with this solid piece of curved aluminum, uh, not only does it look good, but it also helps with transferring thermal uh, energy from inside of the case outside. Um, so you'll have reduced internal temperatures with these solid aluminum panels. Uh, these panels are also very easy to remove. They have four pins on each side of the aluminum panels. So all you do is just lie the case down and you just pop open the panels. A new innovation from BitPhoenix is the BitPhoenix icon located on the front of the case. We take personalization of your case to the next level by allowing you to change the logo of the case to whatever image you like. The screen is a 2.4 inch TFT display powered by an internal USB 2 connection. To change the logo, first plug in the USB connector to your motherboard. Then you visit our website to download the application and drag it to your desktop. Lastly, drag the image that you desire over the application. And a few seconds later, your new image will appear on the front of the case. Moving over to the top of the case, you'll find your two USB 3.0s. Your power and reset switches. On the power button, you also find your power LED. On the reset button, you also have your HDD LED. You'll also find your front panel audio and microphone connections. Moving to the back of the top panel, you'll have your top dust filter. This is also found on the front panel. And also on the power supply. Now moving on to the back of the case, you'll find a rear aluminum piece, which continues through with the side panel that gives it a consistent look. Uh, you also find five PCI slots with a PCI cover. Uh, to remove the PCI slots, you'll have five thumb screws, which you can also secure with a hex Allen key. The reason why we provided the hex Allen key is so that we do not destroy the look of the case on the rear panel, uh, but also for you to conveniently lock your PCI components without removing the rear panel. So upon removing the side panels, you see a very spacious design. You have five PCI slots here, so you can fit up to a micro ATX board. Mini ITX are also compatible. Let's start off with the CPU cooler height. You have 134 millimeters. With the VGA length, you also have 350 millimeters, but you also have to look out for the VGA height, which uh, the PCB can come up. So you have up to 12 centimeters there. With the power supply depth, you have 180 millimeters up until the uh, cable management cage here. Uh, without the cable management cage, you can fit even longer. Now with cable management in a small case, you usually find a very big headache. But with Pandora, you have a cable management cage here which you can hide all the cables underneath. And on the bottom of the case, you can use cable tie downs which we provide or Velcro. And so you can bundle them all together so you don't affect the airflow from the front of the case uh, to your major components. On the back of the motherboard, you also have cable tie downs. So there's cable management space behind. And this cable management cage also acts as a SSD holder. Now moving on to the cooling for Pandora, it's very flexible in its design. The front of the case can accommodate two 120 millimeter fans. There's one included directly for the VGA cooling. Uh, in terms of radiators, you can actually place 120 millimeter radiator on the front of the case for your CPU. 
If you have a radiator for your VGA, you can also place that one in the front together with the CPU radiator, so up to two 120mm radiators. Or you can fit a single 240mm radiator in the front, up to 50mm in thickness with the uh, cable management cage removed. And on the top of the case, you have 120mm fan for exhaust. Last but not least, the storage options for Pandora. You have uh, two three and a half inch hard drive locations, one on the top of the case, and one on the bottom of the case underneath the cable management cage. In terms of SSD locations, 2.5 inch drives, you have one mounted on the front of the cable management cage. You have one mounted behind the motherboard tray. And you have one mounted uh, on the bottom of the case where the 3.5 inch location drive is. So with Pandora, there's a total of eight models. For users who do not want the BitPhoenix icon on their Pandora, uh, we do have a core version, which does come with our aluminum badge. Uh, there's also the window and non-windowed version and both of them come in black or silver. So a total of eight models for you to choose from. Uh, all models vary by region. Well, that wraps up the overview of the Pandora. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, of course, you can send us an uh, email. Uh, go through our support ticket system, which we'll answer really quickly. Uh, you can also post on our Facebook page or on the comments below on this YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.